Hello my fellow hunters. Currently I'm doing some research about switch X amp uptime percentage and in general don't waste your levels of power prolonger etc. Um, KG Peng already did made a video but for example in this video I show you for example for speedrunners um, don't waste your levels. So I want to show this you in a special run. So you can see this sheet on the world record speedrunning sheet and I just created a new tab called under construction for the switch X and uptime percentage. So you can see here I also previously added some other runs. I just gonna shortly explain what's here in the in the sheet. In the first tab you have the runner with the monster. I think that's obviously also here some support for the Japanese guys on this web page. That's the world record. If it's white, it's no world record, and if it's yes colored and yellow, it's a world record. Sorry that also forgot to color out the um, uh, Ragnar Kataki is also yellow. Yes, okay. Diablos, yes, okay. All, everything that is yellow is a world record, and this guy also made a world record with the Wraith Blaze Splitter. This is the Rathalos Switch X. And you can see here, I already added that it is a, he used a power fire, of course. And he used three levels of power prolonger, and that's what I want to talking about. Um, just wanted to explain, I used um, emojis at the top for all the Japanese guys, because we have also a lot of Japanese watcher on this webpage. Web page. So the first time is the encounter time for the monster's enemy so you can see I'm just watching random videos and yes I am gonna check out this run is from Shun and now we're here in front of the monster and you only have to check out this icon so um, I just wait until the red eye appears so we're gonna put down the the speed up to 0 0.25 and gonna start and it's gonna wait until the red eye appears. So he's gonna sharpen his weapon. And let's continue. Speed up to zero. Oh, let's go. Okay, I think he's gonna now do the first attacking move or he's using a trap. I'm not sure. Okay, he's starting with a trap like everybody else. And now you have to look at the icon. It's so you can see the swag icon disappears and now we're gonna yes, turn down the speed and now see when the red eye appears. Okay, you can see red eye has appeared. Now we go to see the stats for the nerds and you can see it's 34.80 where the encounter starts. And you can see here it's 34.77. So I previously analyzed it and yes, it was kind of more accurate. And uh, now the, th the next thing we're gonna check out is when this monster yeah, fell asleep or <laughs> died in other way. And I just wrote down the time, it is 138.93. Okay, let's have a look at, it must be here about, yes, it's here, 138.93. Here is the, so this is from the video, crap from the video because it's uh, more accurate for the calculation. And this is the time um, from the in-game time. So he used 142.99 seconds. The thing is why I'm doing this because a lot of you can't really know when a video starts or yes, the quest starts. So the only important thing for the analysis is when the monster gets encountered. So the first thing is the way, how long do I need to get to the monster? For example, you can see for my Gosa Rock run, I needed about 55 seconds only to go to the monster and that's why the Gotharag runs are so long it takes a very long time to get to the monster yes for example for the Naga Kuga run it's a very good run two minutes one and I needed under 40 seconds to encounter the monster and under 40 seconds is an extremely fast time you get the fastest time with the, the Shabanese guy with this 31 in the shrine ruins the next thing, this is the sum of the um, 
So you can see it's F22 minus E22. So F22 is this cell minus this cell. So this is the effective um, time when you're fighting against the monster. Or in general, the time you're in the in fight with a monster because you're also spending some time running around the map. And so this time isn't included. We don't need this for our calculation. This is also really important for our calculation or it's just informative it is the m amount of full amps you got so you can see for an example for my Ragnar Kazaki run I have charged my switch axe exactly three times in this quest and for example for the Naga Kuga run that means um, it is 0 0.99 that means if the quest was over my switch axe was still amped and now we're gonna continue to this one this is the sum of the amp time. So all the seconds um, your switch hex was amped. And for this quest, um, you can see the fight, the fight uh, duration, uh, when you're excluding the time to go to the monster, was 104 seconds. And use the power file with three levels of power prolonger. And um, only 68 seconds. So you can see only 63.55% uh, of the time, even if you fused three levels of power prolonger, uh, the switch X was in the end state. Because um, this guy also doesn't charge the switch X in the fastest way. I always recommend uh, charging the switch X with the Heaven's Ward Flurry move, but I, I'm not sure, but I think I should use another um, uh, combo to charge the switch X in this run. And yes, um, also this is the most important thing in the complete calculation. It shows you, um, yes, the usage of how, the percentage of how long your um, switch X was amped during the fight. And you can see, for example, um, yes, Elemental Fayal still for the win. So this runs from me, all the Fox and Rick's run already sorted. You can see it go goes, up from uh, 86 down to 47 and you can see elemental file is always on the top and power and the, at the bottom and um, even you can see for example um, elemental file with zero levels of power for longer has a more amp up time than power file with three levels of power for longer <laughs> that's pretty pretty funny yeah. um, and they just want to show you um, if you're doing a speed run you have to really figure out what's the best level of power prolonger because I think this guy also easily had maybe can reach two minutes and 10 seconds or you also have to include that Baryov got a huge nerf and I think he's weaker than Narga Kuga so I think maybe even um, sub two is possible because he has a lot better spawn point you can see you reach for Narga Kuga you have to reach um, for the encounter you need 39 seconds and for the Baryov encounter five seconds less so maybe so 155 or so is even mathematically possible and um, let's gonna check out when the sky has charged up his switch x you can see it takes a really long time because um, he used maybe not the best combo to charge the switch x and um, you can see the first when he charged up the switch x was here okay let's gonna do the time lapse and okay, and now it's charged, and you can see in, in one minute 10, the switch X is fully amped, and the monster died. And after the quest, you can see even uh, the, at the end of the video, the switch X is already amped. And use um, three levels of power prolonger. I'm showing you this in this build. You can see here, he used three levels of power prolonger. And. Um, Let's calculate whether I want to show you that you all, he also get. Um, there's no difference whether he used power longer level two. So he used power longer level three, and now change it. So what I want to talk about is the most important thing you have to think about is this number. If there is at the end uh, 90 or 80, you have a pretty optimal usage of your power longer. Um, but you can see he used three levels of power longer. And um, even if the quest was cleared, the switch X was all the time and up. So let's waste skills. And um, you can see it's zero.
sorry, I used the free version of the software and I have to take a new recording. And if I, if I um, decrease this level of power prolonger to level two, you can see this is the optimal usage of power prolonger level because uh, nothing changes and you can see the number decreases to 0 0.96. That means he has nearly one complete amp. And just wanna show you the calculation. So we talked about the first amp he got was at one minute and 10 seconds. It was here. So you can see one minute and 10 seconds. And now you can see here, if we change this level, it also changes the seconds. And now we're gonna add um, 72 to uh, 70 because 1 minute 10 is 70 so 70 plus 72 is 182 uh, sorry I made a wrong calculation you have to uh, only use the time when the switch checks was amped and it was here so this is um, calculated automatically so we don't have to <laughs> check anything on the video you can see um here the amp uptime was 68.77 seconds and so you can see here if we use level three or level two it doesn't matter even if he only used two levels he has four seconds over the top of the amp time so this tab is also really Interesting, really important. Um, yes, that was just an example. I'm gonna make um, some follow on, following up videos showing you on average the best levels of power prolonger or in general you can use. Um, for me personally, I would say the best thing in general for using a switch X is just using the Judah Todos chest, which already has two levels of power prolonger. And the weight extender, Trudor Atodos chest is the best possible armor piece I can recommend for this using switch X. So that was just an example of, yes, using optimal levels of power prolonger and see you next time.